Friday, we have reached, well, close enough to our weekend, and you're watching that edition of Summit Sunrise right here on TV8 Summit. My name is Tyler Vitale, I'll be your host for the next hour, and we have a great show coming up with $50 to Burke and Riley's for your watch win. Of course, checking in with your uh, local weather reports, seeing what's going on for your weekend, and some great interviews. And speaking of those great interviews, well, we're starting off one right now with um, Paul Cohen of the Fine Art Gallery and David Jackson. Thank you guys for coming in here. Good yeah. morning to you guys. Great morning, to you. Glad great. to see you. And uh, <clears throat> well, first let's start off. Where exactly is the Breck Fine Art Gallery and what could we expect to find in there? <laughs> We're right on the corner of South Main and South Park, opposite Main Street Station, 421 South Main. And there's a lot of art in there. There's a lot of art. <laughs> a lot Fine. of art. Yeah. Great art. Uh, we've got obviously paintings and sculpture, bronze sculpture. But this weekend's kind of special because we brought David Jackson in from Utah. And we'll be fantastic. painting live for the next few days. And those uh, kind of exhibits are excellent to actually see the artists come in there and do what they do best. And so anyone who isn't even necessarily that big of a fan of painting or sculpting, I mean, you'd be a fan by stopping into the, the fine art gallery to see some Absolutely. of this. Absolutely. So David, tell me a little bit about yourself. I mean, you've been painting probably for longer than I've been alive. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> I've been at it a long time. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I... Uh, I'm a retired school teacher. I taught high school art, um, pottery, painting, drawing, and uh, why well, you know I just uh, 45 years of being a professional artist. That's outstanding. Travel and paint and uh, meet people mm -hmm. and got some. I've got friends all over the world. Some of my best friends and uh, it's just. Awesome. Do you ever just kind of sit back and, and ask yourself like how did I find myself in this situation, like letting my life lead to this point as becoming a professional artist for those many years? I well, mean, yeah, I think, uh, you know, early on, I, you know, I, I always admired great artists. Mm -hmm. and, and I knew I was going to be an artist. Just, that's what I want to be. Knew. That's what I'm going to do. Excellent. And, but the, the, the experience uh, that unfolds as you learn and grow is, is I mean, that, that, that road you travel is just um, unbelievably neat, and it's, it's as neat as you want it to be. And, right. And I, I just, the more I got into it, the more I loved it. Yeah. So now you did bring a couple of examples in here. We're showing some on the uh, monitors now, or the TVs. Um, tell me a little bit about what your subject matter mostly revolves around. Or revolves well, it used to be uh, pre predominantly just wildlife. Uh -huh. uh, I, I'm, I'm a wildlife, you know, fanatic. But I, uh, I, I was a watercolor artist for a number of years. Uh, but when I would go places, you know, rather than saying, well, where am I going to put an animal in this? <coughs> I, I got so excited about uh, looking at, at, at maybe a rock with some flowers by it or uh, a stand of trees mm -hmm. or, or somebody that was sitting in the shade with a little bit of sunlight on them, you know. And so I would do some figurative work. And, and you know, and I, so I, I just, you know, I can, I can do all of this. You know, it's all great. I can paint. Yeah. And I just <laughs> yeah, which is great, and you know, to tell you the truth, some of those landscape pieces that, and like the example you brought in here with a couple of the aspens in yellow, right now we're looking at the other one, um, but it kind of alludes to the idea that maybe you should see an animal kind of come into the picture, or you should True. be looking, like something's going to be there. Sometimes. Like, I should be seeing <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, it'll be I there think. sometime. So it'll keep you engaged with that. Uh, so I think that's something someone can certainly appreciate about that kind of piece, and it's very neat stuff. So do you mostly just stick with painting now? Uh, well, I do bronze also. I do some you sculpting. Do? I do. Okay. Uh, uh, not not wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. uh, I just it's just a nice that's shift of gears. Hobby. Well, <laughs> I, I, it's it's been a nice shift of gears. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I, I I taught sculpting uh, when in school, and and it came to me very easily, and the uh, hands-on three-dimensional aspect of of things. I think they they really complement each other, yeah. and uh, and you know I'd like to do more sculpting, but right now I you know I, you can't keep up with the demand for it's the like, flat art. <laughs> painting's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. So, well, then uh, take us through what this weekend's gonna kind of be like for you. Have you come up with any concepts for what you're gonna paint? Uh, well, I have. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get out and do some photographs around the area a little bit, and then I have a number of photos from last year when I was here. And, uh, you know, so I have a, a stack of photos and I flip through those and I'll mm -hmm. have a stack that jumps out and says, paint me. And I'll, what the, ones that, who's yeah. the ones that jump out the highest is what I'll grab. And usually it's a combination of two or three photos. And Now, you're not a stranger to Summit County. Have you painted 
from anywhere around the area? Uh, a little bit all over. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I've uh, uh, been was it four years. Yep. And, I mean, and so when I'm up here, I, I'm, I'm out and about, and, and, and I'll see things that just, you know, grab my eye, and, and I'll usually set those aside in a file, and so when I come up here, I'll grab those and, and, uh, and work from them. Fantastic. And David's done a lot of commissions yeah. as well. Someone will come okay. in and say, oh, I like that. Well, it just sold. Well, actually, it wasn't big enough anyway, and we'd like to see this <laughs> and this, so he'll do a combination of many different things. And it's things. fun because the people, you know, last year we had somebody, in, and they sat right there on the, on, on the stairs watching while I painted. Yeah. And, you know, I'd have them come up and get some interaction with them, and, and uh, sometimes, you know, if kids will come in, we give them a brush and, and uh, let them let them come in and be involved in the uh, in the painting and really get a couple oh, of strokes. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's so sure. exciting to wow. to get somebody beyond the the look at stage. You know, yeah. and come up close and see you know see what I did with this this pile of paint right here. Let's move it around <laughs> or or this color against that color. What do you think? Well, here, take the brush and move it. Yeah. And kids are pretty game, too. I think adults tend to be a little bit like, I don't right. want to mess like, it up. Sure, Not realizing sure. that David can fix it. Oh. That's right. Yeah. Well, it is certainly amazing to see the transformation of what you can do with just a blank canvas and come out with your final product. And, uh, you, Paul, you made a mention that there, there's a lot of popularity with these uh, paintings. And so that kind of takes me into that you have a new book coming out. So you, you have a lot of, yes. of works coming in. Yeah, here. you know, it's, uh, it's, it's been a... a a lot of years, and I, mm -hmm. and I have just a, a lot of people that are asking when I'm ever going to do a book. Well, this is the thing. I mean, David's work is vast. I can't even imagine how many hundred paintings, hundreds of paintings you've done. Um, and so when you've had such a body of work and such a variety from landscapes to still lifes as well as the, the wild animals and such that he loves to do, mm -hmm. um, then you need a book. And I mean, once you're a published artist, it just takes you to a whole new level because what happens is people want you, you know, even people who can't afford a painting right. can afford a book. Right. And that's, that's right. often the, the step in to being able to really get to know an artist and know the body of work that he can do. And it's a great marketing tool, too. Yeah. People see it and go, oh, I'd like a bit of this and a bit of this. Right. right. David can do it. He'll put that together. So we're happy to have people come in. We always have his work year round, but this mm -hmm. we've got a nice body today and he's going to be painting probably two or three during the weekend. You know, yeah, I'll, so. I'll, we'll, we'll usually get, you know, one or two a day while I'm there. So Wow, you're a pretty fast painter. <laughs> uh, well, you know, 45 years worth, I've got to... <laughs> you, got, you have a <laughs> and, formula. And, and, and a, you, you know, an old uh, art teacher, you've got to uh -huh. perform fast when you've got kids standing around waiting to <laughs> Absolutely. not lose you patience. You've got to hold their uh, <laughs> you know, gotta, the attention span. <laughs> well, great. Yeah. What kind of times during the day that we can expect? In Officially, the show is 3 to 7 Friday and 3 mm -hmm. to 7 fr uh, Saturday as well. But David will probably be in much earlier through I'm, the day. He's, I'm a he's here. I'll be and there so, from 11 to 7, yeah. uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. Fantastic. So. It's the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery. You can find them right on Main Street in Breckenridge, across from Main Street Station. Just stop on in there. And again, it's a family friendly. Oh, absolutely. We want the young ones to go. In fact, yeah. it's the young ones that bring the parents oh, yeah. in. They'll say, Art Gallery, and the parents go, oh, no. I said, come on wow, in, kids. I love it when they the kids are it. there. Yeah, and they do. They're we really are. We're very come family. Come in and say hi. Too. Yeah. Come in and have some refreshments. Yeah. Well, if you skip out this weekend, you certainly got to make some time to find yourself into the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery because great art all year round over there. Thank Paul, you. David, pleasure. Thanks so much for My coming pleasure. in here. Thank, Thank you. you. We're going to take a quick break here on our Friday edition of Sun Sunrise and be back with more. So stick around. The weather's coming at you right about now. Good weather.